Okay. There we go. There we go. How you doing? I am good. Happy Thursday. How are you? I'm positive and productive. I don't got nothing negative to say at all. You feel me? That is that is a good line right there. I heard that right there. Definitely, I definitely appreciate you coming on the platform at the end of the day. Yes. Indeed. Thanks for having me. I definitely appreciate you reaching out and you know, thinking of me to share your platform. Um, I am interested in why me? Why why did you feel like reaching out to correction? She bananas. Everybody do what you do and say she bananas because mm. it's Chicago and it makes sense, right? That's but right. it's she bananas. Yeah. Okay, well, I, I mean, I reached out because I know you're in the music industry, and I know you're doing mm -hmm. a lot of things when it come, come down to music, you know, so when it come down to uh, music and interviews, and I know you be doing things for the neighborhood as well, like the community, you know, and yes. I'm, deeply, yeah, I'm deeply into uh, helping the community, you know, better brothers and sisters, you know, and, and things of that nature, so when I came across you, you know, I had to reach out and get you on a platform because you're not just dealing with music, you're dealing with the community, our people as well. And that means a lot, you know, so I had to get you on I platform. appreciate that. Definitely, definitely. So I just gave everybody basically a synopsis of, you know, what the interview is going to be about. But if you can, just go ahead and uh, let, you know, the public know, you know, uh, who you are and, you know, uh, what you do. Well, okay, so my name is She Bananas. My, I was born Chiquita. So my name comes from, is driven from my name and is driven from my hometown, as well as who I am as a person. So She Bananas means my name, Chiquita like the banana. It means I'm Chicago crazy. It means I'm a girl, so I can't get a little, you know, crazy. But it also means I, I have hot, crazy energy. I'm known for my energy. You know, I do, I have a radio show um, on my Radio Chicago broadcast Monday through Friday, the afternoon kickback. Make sure y'all tap in and go follow me. You know, we'll get, get those details later. Yeah, mm -hmm. but um, I have that, like I say, Monday through Friday, but I also do a Dress the Culture podcast with my brothers, uh, KL and Big Wall, where we address different things in the culture. I work with Saving Lives Impact Project as an outreach coordinator for the youth. I teach podcasting. I do, I help with a movie boot camp and, you know, just different things. Yeah. And then I have Eyes Open Entertainment, where I throw artist showcases as well. You know, I'm like, I'm mean, here and there. I do, I do do a lot. And I recently became the manager of Mainstream Radio, which is moving really soon. Um, got some dope things coming, man. Got to keep your eyes peeled. I am everywhere. I'm working on Sheep Bananas Comfort Corner. As you can see, I got my She Bananas Comfort Corner because everywhere I go is a comfort corner. Let's just keep it funky 1000. You know, I bring the comfort. Yeah, you see me, my my yellow. I I, I, I bring the sunshine. You know that sign? That's right. Yeah. Hey, that's what it is at the end of the day. You know what? It, got you into, what got you into the music? Man, so I've always loved music. Music has always been my life. I live my life, um, some of my darkest times, some of my happiest times through music. It's always been my escape. But what really drove me into the industry is I have two sons that are aspiring artists. And um, not just, you know, not just that, uh, that was one of the motivations, but then I'm big on gun violence because I have two sons that was victims of gun violence. Mm. So it was um, a, a, a compilation of a lot of different things. But overall, it started as my kids, you know. You familiar with the music industry, so you know how it goes. If you ain't get the money to pay, then you can't get no play. You know, so I'm like, I'm going to join the game. 
you know. I'm going to learn the game. And and that's why it's I'm so different in the industry. You know, if you come on my platform, my platform is for everybody, but it's about people that's passionate about what it is that they do, you know. And you, you're doing something positive, you know, for the community. I don't promote everything. Let me just say that. You know, like I say, um, it was a bunch of different reasons why I did it. And so, yeah, that's, that's why I'm here. I mean, uh, you know, a lot of people uh, got a lot of questions for you. And one question was, uh, when is uh, D.I.'s going to get his interview? I see D.I.'s on here. Stop playing. D.I.'s interview is this Monday uh, from 1 to 3 on the afternoon kickback. Support District Radio. Make sure you go tune in. You can download the app or you can tune in live. Yeah, via Google Play, Apple Stores. Today, free 99. I'm always advertising, you know. That's I'm a right. walking market. <laughs> That what it's about at the uh, end of the day, advertising your product and what you got going on, you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, go ahead. Was you finna say something? Yeah, I just, I really just want to be impactful to the community. Being a mother of all boys, like I say, my um, my oldest son and my second born, my middle son, both were victims of gun violence. But then I had the one, my middle son and my baby boy are inspiring artists. So. I just want to tap in and give them away. But my my path kind of like changed along the way. It will, it, you know, it didn't go according to plan. You know, life has a way of throwing that little curve in your track or, you know, throwing yeah. you off track. So when I first tapped into the music, my, uh, my oldest son that was, uh, that is an aspiring artist. He would go through a mental breakdown the very week that I get my, like one of my biggest spots on 92.3. Um, and so I almost quit radio. You know, I tell this story all the time, but I did because I almost went into mommy mode. And so that brings me to like my show. Um, I've always been inspiration, but I implemented mental health because now mental health is a big part of my mission it's the, it's the elephant in the room we don't address it we don't have the resources that we need um and i don't think people understand like if we don't address the issues the loved ones of the people who take care of people that's going through that they they face the chance of going through some type of mental you know, a uh, disparity because things can be stressful, you know, and we just got to do better. So I just want to be an impact on the culture. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. And that's real because, I, I mean, it, we, you know, it's a driving force that have brothers, you know, and sisters out there um doing things that they doing and it's not just you know you can't just blame it on certain things and not blame it on mental health you know brothers and sisters out there need mental health as well you know you know those are some of the reasons that they acting out you know they don't you know they ha haven't talked about it to somebody or people are afraid to talk so, right they they're afraid of judgment you get what i'm saying we're so quick to judge and, and and judgment, we don't offer resources. So let's go back to what I just said earlier. Like, if, if you got an opinion about something, you clearly know more than they do. Give a resource, right? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with giving a resource? Yeah. So yeah, um, I just wanna, I wanna raise a little noise. And I wanna be a person that's able to pour into the communities pour into the youth, pour into the people, because we're so quick to just condemn people. I love people. I love mm. to say that too, because we get caught up in race. That's a whole nother story. You know, I think we got to take race out the equation, because the elevator is people. One of the things I love to say, you know, you I love human life, you know? You got to, you got to, you know, 
everything, you know, everybody is a, a is human at the end of the day. You know, everybody, you know, is human. And we are all people. And that's the thing about bringing about a equality balance to humanity by showing no favoritism by skin color or creed or, or race and things of that nature. Because, you know, um, we all got feelings. We all, you know, if somebody mama or sons and daughters and cousins and, you know, at the end of the day, mm-hmm. about being uh, equal and have an equal uh, equality across the whole board for everybody. You know what I'm saying? So we all can be unified. If, you know, if we clean one side of the fence up and it's good on our side of the fence and the other side of the fence ain't, ain't cleaned up, then it's still conflict. So you we get what I'm saying? Yeah, we got to get both sides of the fence. We got to uh, pitch in. We put our hands in. If they don't know what they're doing or how to do it, let's go over there and show. Let, or if they don't have the drive, let's go over there and ignite a drive. You get what I'm saying? Like, let's not wait till things get too far gone before we start mm-hmm. raising a ruckus. Because then we're, we're, we're too high in our emotions and we can't see clearly because it's conflict you know um one of the things i like to say is we have an obligation as human beings to be just that Mm -hmm. a human being and like a human being uh, in my opinion results around um being compassionate being kind um showing empathy displaying love, you know, giving, uh, just overall favorite slogan, you know, check my show out, you'll hear me say it all the time, be a blessing to somebody other than yourself today, you know, if we just, you never know how much of an impact that you make just by saying hello, how was your day? Some people want to talk, but there's never an opportunity being displayed to say, hey, I want to know how how you're feeling and how's your day. I, I, I've i always been a person, I don't ask how you doing. I'd be like, my, my line is how you feeling because I want to know how you feel. I can see how you doing, you know what I mean? But I really want to tap into how you feel, you know? That's great, you that's know? Good. I love yeah. bringing smiles, you know? That's That's my energy. Mm. So, I mean, you know, uh, when I first came across you, when I did uh, realize who you was, and like you stated already, you used to be on 92.3, right? I did. I, yeah. I started the show, The Move, that comes on on Sundays. Shout out to Illinois Media School for um, giving me that dope platform, me and Media Monix. We were the uh, initial anchors. And then I would go on to doing my show five days a week at my radio Chicago, you know? Yeah. Now, okay. I mean, so, I mean, like, what happened with that? Like, because I remember you, you used to be on the radio on 92.3. What, what happened? What happened exactly? So, what happened with The Move? The Move is a show that was, uh, it's, it's paid for by the Illinois Media School. And so initially, me and Monix were uh, the anchors, and other anchors were supposed to come in. But then it was agreed that we just pass it along alumni, you know, to give everybody a feel of what it's like to work in the industry. You know, get them their, their first taste of, man, the music world. And it, and that's what it is. It's, it's for everybody. And that's why it's called The Move, because the goal is to keep you on the move, to keep you inspired, to keep you going, you know? Mm-hmm. That's real. Yeah. And that's so, yeah. That ain't, hey, shout out to uh, them brothers and sisters who still participating in that. Cause that's yeah. the move. Yeah, it, it, the move gonna be around for a very long time because Illinois Media School is doing big things. They got great talent coming up out of there doing things. Matter of fact, my super producer is right there in the back in the cut you know she always right here uh told you so entertainment come from illinois media school Mm. i come from illinois media school they got some great products okay that's what it do at the end of the day 
No, so I mean, after you did uh, 92.3, what was your next move after that? What was your next step? So my next move was, so wh while I was doing 92.3, I actually, um, I was on Windy City Underground, which is a station at uh, Illinois Media School. I was mm -hmm. doing D-Sun Live. Uh, I was also um, the board op, and I ran my radio Chicago uh, for about a year and a half. I, I ran pretty much every show there was. And then when I transitioned out of the move, I would go on to five days a week, my radio Chicago. And then mm -hmm. I also formed Eyes Open Entertainment and where we throw R&B showcases. That's, and COVID kind of hit right when we threw our first showcase. It sold out, it was amazing. It definitely was, um, man, a, a humbling experience. I had so much fun that night, so much great talent. You know, I I love music. Music is therapy, you know, it's, it's, um, it's a way out. You know, I, I think a lot of answers lies in music. You can find a song to get you through anything that you're feeling, you know. But mm. what, how are we going? I think we're, we're, we're losing ourselves in the music, though. I must be honest. That's like another one of my mo motor, uh, motivations in music. I'm hoping that we can get back to the true sound of music. Because music, a lot, some music contributes to the demise of our culture. And I'm not okay with that. And I don't think none of us should be okay with that. You know, I, I remember a time when certain things weren't allowed to be played on the radio, on TV. You get what I'm saying? And I, I don't think it's by mistake. I think it's by design and I think it's by greed. How, how much longer are we going to let the almighty dollar control us? Mm, you know? Some questions. Um, we do a lot of deplorable things through music. We are losing a lot of people because of music, because of words said. And that that's not what music was intended for. It was intended for a message, but it was a feel good message. It was a up, you know, or get your mind right message. It wasn't a, you know, encourage you to go do harm to others. And so I'm hoping before I leave this earth, my impact and the thing, the way I move, it, it definitely uh, leave that impact on people. You know, and that's why I say, I don't think people that partake in that type of music, I don't consider them less creative. You get what I'm saying? Well, I don't know. I, I don't even know if that's what I want to say, because I think they do it because it's trendy. You get what I'm saying? So in my opinion, it's like a follower, not a leader. We, 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 we get comfortable doing things that's trending versus tapping into our own creativity. We like to add on to what we see somebody else do and try to make it better because we're too busy being in competition. You know what I mean?